We're back on the road again after spending two glorious days camping at Lake Atlin. Yet again, we are driving through windy mountain roads as we make our way to Antigua. While driving in Guatemala, there will be times that you wonder if you're lost or if you're on the right path. We found that our GPS didn't always send us the best route and we used Google Maps to cross-reference. Even then, traveling down the CA1 highway, we found river crossing. So we had some fun doing a little off-roading. This is another reason to ensure your vehicle has good tires and a little extra ground clearance won't hurt. And of course, good brakes are a must when driving in the mountains. I don't know if you need to get out. Start paddling? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. We're doing it. We're off roading. Okay. I made it. It's not like poop. It does smell like poop. It's poop water. Poop water. Poop water washed out the road. The drive from Lake Atlin to Antigua is a few hours and takes you through mountains and glorious countrysides. The countryside is dotted with small towns and farmlands. Antigua is about 25 kilometers from Guatemala City. Antigua, Guatemala is not to be confused with the Caribbean country of Antigua and Barbuda. The city of Antigua is a small Spanish colonial city in southern Guatemala that is surrounded by volcanoes. Antigua is an UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is a vibrant city known for its cobblestone streets, candy-colored buildings, and vibrant pattern and colored textiles. The streets are lined with well-preserved Spanish architecture, as well as a large number of Catholic churches. The city boasts a bustling coffee scene and many boutique hotels. Antigua is a very busy, congested town with terrible traffic between the very narrow cobblestone streets, the one-way streets, next to no parking, buses and pedestrian traffic. It is a stressful drive. We ended up having to back up and turn around in a busy one-way street due to unmarked construction, us and like five other vehicles. So parking and walking the city when possible would be our recommendation. So we're just hanging out in the little rope swing, car swing? Yeah. What kind of vehicle is this? I have no idea. Some kind of old truck. We're at this really cute campground in Antigua, just, just, just outside of the main part of the city called Vegemundo. So I'll take you for a little tour. We were happy to break free from the hustle and bustle of downtown and arrive at this really great campground and hostel located just outside the downtown core. We found this place on iOverlander, an excellent travel app. The campground and hostel is called Vagamondo. They are a very unique space with many retro vehicles that decorate the grounds. 
you can camp here or stay in a hostel room. They have accommodations, most with a private bathroom, in two buses, a converted semi-truck, a boat, and even a chopper. They also have a rooftop tent that is mounted on a classic VW Beetle that can be rented for the night. There are clean bathrooms, showers, and there are facilities to do laundry. We had just done our laundry when we were in Lake Atlin, so we were all set. Vagamundo is a very pet-friendly space. Our dogs really enjoyed it there, and they made friends with the peacocks that live there. There are two peacocks that could be found roaming around the grounds and strutting their stuff. In the afternoon, we enjoyed watching a few locals playing a game of football, or American soccer, and enjoyed a couple of gallows, which is the local Guatemalan cerveza. As the sun began to set, the warm, sunny afternoon weather cooled down to a very comfortable evening temperature. The daily high was about 28 degrees, and the evening was a low 20s. The pups were napping in the cooler weather and we decided to have supper at one of the small restaurant bars on site. We enjoyed tacos and nachos for 15 US dollars and they were amazing. Camping here costs just 20 US dollars and we would highly recommend if you're in Antigua to book a stay, either to camp or book a night in one of their unique accommodations. We had breakfast and packed up camp. Adios Antigua. Where to next? We're heading to the Guatemala El Salvador border crossing. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next amazing adventure.